Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back to another Money Making Monday. If you are new to this format, these sales are taken from my Facebook group where we have over 30,000 sellers that share their sales every week. They show what they bought, where they bought it, how much they paid for it, the listing so we can see how much it sold for, and if they remember how long they had it. This is a great way to learn what to sell and increase your knowledge base, as well as push yourself out of your comfort zone and try new things. So thanks for watching and let's get into the video. These sales are taken from the April 1st, 2019 thread on my Facebook group. So we're gonna start with Melissa. She sold this mixed lot of 34 vintage patches for $30. She said these were a personal item of her husband's so the cost was zero and they were just sitting in a box in her basement. Sold for $30 in one day. So another plug to get those items listed because you don't know how quickly they're gonna sell. Unlisted items can't sell. Okay, next we've got Nev who paid $7 at Goodwill and sold in 12 days for best offer of $45 plus shipping even though it is missing one attachment. And so that's the reason I chose this item. Not only is it a great sale, but it was missing something and it sold anyway. So any of you holding back that have items that are damaged or missing parts, incomplete, Go ahead and list it anyway. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You never know what somebody's gonna buy and here's proof that items that are missing attachments or parts or pieces will still sell. Okay, we've got Allie. She said this popped up on a local mom's selling group for $8. Went and picked it up, listed it, and it sold the same night for full asking price plus shipping. It is a Star Wars Lego set, and she got $40 for it. She paid eight, turned it into 40, and it sold in less than 24 hours. So the lesson here is if you're not looking on your local Facebook groups, Facebook Marketplace, that is definitely a place where you can find things to pick virtually, meet the people, buy the item, get it on eBay, and make a profit. Okay, Tracy sold this item in two days. She paid $3 for this vintage Pyrex yellow bowl and it sold for 20 bucks. Now, if you look at this item, it looks pretty average. It's just a yellow bowl, but somebody wanted it and vintage 1950s, it's that Pyrex glass, so who knows why? Some people just like these older bowls for some reason. Maybe she, the person who bought it had a set and this one was missing, broken, whatever, and they just wanted to replace it. Who knows? But three bucks sold for 20. Okay, this is Jen. Jen Cangelosi, who is my one of my star virtual assistants. And um, you can look at her listings and see that she knows what she's doing on eBay. She has been on eBay I think about as long as I have since 2003 so we've known each other a really long time in the eBay world and she sold these Chuck Taylor knee-high patchwork sneakers for $70 she paid three dollars at the Salvation Army and sold for full asking price in about six months so this is kind of an unusual item that has a special buyer and you got to be patient, but where else can you turn $3 into $70 in three months? And Meredith commented that I have never in my life seen Chuck Taylors like these. So these were definitely unique and just had to wait for the right buyer. And then we've got another one from Jen here. $3 at Salvation Army. Took about seven months to sell. The brand is Boston Proper. And I believe that started off as a catalog brand but um, this was a wrap blouse top and you can see how good Jen's listings are. She really uses the keywords well 
which is why she is such a great virtual assistant. So if you are looking for help getting your items listed, if you have a backlog, or if you are not as experienced as you'd like to be and need some help getting your titles right and want to have my expert listers list your items so you can see how they do it, I've got the link below the video. You can check that out and see if we can help you out getting your items listed. But uh, yeah, Jen knows knows what she's doing, been doing it a long time. She's sold tens of thousands of items and um, she's, she's a superstar in the eBay world. So I want to show a couple of her listings. Okay, then we've got Rachel here. Paid less than a dollar for this vintage Barbie. She sold overnight for $250. So here's another one. If it's not listed, it can't sell. This is a vintage... 1965 ash blonde Barbie doll bendable legs swimsuit Mattel another example of great use of keywords so that your buyers can find the item and a dollar and it sold for two hundred and fifty dollars now somebody asked here what was so great about this old girl I'm clueless but you must knew, know what you're looking for and Rachel said she's an authentic vintage Barbie from 1965 with the original swimsuit. She's the first Barbie to have bendable legs. So not sure if Rachel is a expert in the field of Barbies, but dolls and Barbies are definitely have their own rules as far as being a specialty category, kind of like stamps and coins and books and but all the information's out there on the internet. So it's nothing you can't learn if you don't take some time to research it or maybe even find somebody who knows a little bit about it. That's what's great about my Facebook group is if you want help with these types of items, there are very knowledgeable people there that can give you information. Um, we don't price your items for you, but the folks in the group can give you information or recommend websites or other Facebook groups to go to to get more details on these vintage items because um, your research yes you need to research but when it's taking you four and five hours to research something that's not time efficient you need to find resources to help you do that faster so um, there's all kinds of groups on Facebook that specialize in different kinds of products so you can just search for those or ask other sellers if they know of any okay this was a great sale Tina um, she bought this I think she said for two dollars and sold it pretty quickly it's a Busilla stocking cruel kit uh, so it does not have the sequins it's uh, the cruel stitchery and she sold it for two hundred dollars so uh, these things are out there and again I'm gonna mention my needlework course in the premium library because it's now over two hours long with information about what kinds of things to sell what the keywords are what to look for everything you need to know to get into this selling of needlework because this can be an overlooked category especially at estate sales people don't realize the value of these because some of them are collectible some of the uh, kits are limited edition there's lots to it so spend the 20 bucks go join for a month take the needlework course you'll come away a lot smarter and be able to make more money on these okay we've got Cynthia here purchased this for $5.99 J. Cara long gown with jacket sold for best offer of $60 after a month some beads were missing so I had a photo of that area so here's another item that was not in perfect condition had some beads missing and it still sold for best offer of $60 so she paid, basically paid $6 for it sold for 60 she sold it for 10 times what she paid and it wasn't perfect so for you perfectionists out there you just have to put that aside if you want to make money because uh, your things don't have to be perfect to sell them on eBay okay here's a really cool item Kristen toy gun from land of the lost 
bought a box of vintage toys for about $12 at an auction. Already sold all the other items for profit, so basically free. Could not find a comp out on their eBay or Google, so wasn't sure of price or even if it would sell. Started auction at $14, and seconds before it ended, bid shot up to $58. You never know. Right, you don't. And I remember this show, Land of the Lost. I used to love that show. <laughs> It was, you know, one of the first fantasy type shows where people went back in time. It was pretty cool. Um, but you can see the brand here in the listing is Sid and Marty Croft. So we used to watch the world of Sid and Marty Croft back in the late 60s, 70s, early 80s. Until cable came along and then you could watch cartoons 24 hours a day if you wanted to. It wasn't special anymore. So... This just goes to show you this is a piece of plastic that is vintage and it sold for almost 60 bucks. So good job on that, Kristen. Okay, now we've got Eileen. Found these three packages of Creative Memories page protectors at a thrift store for $3.75 each. Bundled them and they sold for a full asking price of $47.99 plus shipping in 10 days. So about a, what, a $14 investment, something like that, $16 investment, and sold for $48 in a pretty short time. So yes, creative memories stuff sells. So when you are looking through the junk in the back and you see these things in packages, or even not, check them out. This was one of those MLM, meaning multi-level marketing, in-home party things like Pampered Chef and Mary Kay and all those things that you would be a rep for and have the parties and sell the stuff. And a lot of people got out of it and still have their stock that they are getting rid of. So that's why these things are showing up. Okay, we've got Donna. Got this Shanghai Tang mug at an estate sale for a dollar and it sold five days later for $35. Just a cool looking mug, Chinese Zodiac Monkey Fine Bone China. So that is a brand I have not heard of before, Shanghai Tang. And cool looking monkey mug, a dollar, sold it for 35. Okay, Luann bought this for $2 at a church rummage sale, sold for $49.99 plus shipping took less than a week to sell. It's a brawn lady shaver kind of thing. And looks like it is new in the box. So again, she got it listed and it sold in less than a week. She turned $2 into $50. We're just like a bunch of magicians turning small amounts of money into big amounts of money. Okay, Heather bought this at a thrift store for $3.20, sold for full asking price within a week of listing. Had this in my to-do pile for months, glad it's going to a new home. This is a copy of Antique 1599 Geneva Bible, Samuel Henson Simpson Memorial Edition 1993. So $3.20, sold for $86, and she didn't say oh within a week so this was sitting in her her pile of stuff and was just money sitting there for a long time because it wasn't listed so congratulations Heather for getting it listed and for that great sale okay Janae paid a dollar at a rummage sale sold in one day for seventy dollars this is a reach power flosser by Johnson and Johnson so just a fun little dental item new in the package I mean can you imagine a dollar it sells in one day for seventy dollars and it's just like for flossing your teeth okay people will pay crazy prices for the weirdest things okay Mary I wanted to include this one listen to this paid one dollar for the set at a garage sale as I was in line to buy it, the woman ahead of me said she looked at it, but it was so filthy and stained. I didn't tell her that's what I specialize in. Cleaning it was easy. Listed on Thursday, had offers right away, sold for best one on Saturday. So she paid a dollar for this and it sold for $135. And it is an antique Edwardian white cotton 
skirt, blouse. So it's a dress. Okay, it's an antique dress that she specializes in cleaning. So listen to what happened here. The lesson is you don't know who's been in front of you and what they know and what they don't know. So don't feel like, oh, all the pickers have been here and it's all cleaned out and there's nothing left for me and I can't go to the garage sale because it's been going on for two hours and all the good stuff's going to be gone. Or I can't go on the last day of the estate sale because all the good stuff's going to be gone. You don't know who's been ahead of you. You don't know what they know. Mary specializes in cleaning these things. So she knew exactly what to do with it and she turned a dollar into $135 because of her knowledge. So you have to build that confidence that the right things are going to show up for you at the right time and you don't know who's been down that aisle at Goodwill ahead of you. You don't know when that item was put out. There's just so much abundance out there. Um, there's enough for everybody in this business because we all know different things. So way to go, Mary. Okay, Kim sold these Taekwondo training videos. I don't usually pick up DVDs, but if I spot a series, I will check them out. I'm the same way. I don't do the individual ones, but I'll look for the sets. Paid $10 total and sold for $94.99 in about a month. And so these are the way of traditional Taekwondo 10 DVD lot. So the oddities, it seems like there's a lot of odd items in this Money Making Mondays. I picked out things that you don't see every day just to show you um, how much odd, different, random things are out there. Okay, we've got Diana. Paid $5.99 at Goodwill, listed by Suzanne's VA service, and sold for full price of $49.99. This is a Chico's dress, size 3. And she said it was $6 at Goodwill, sold for 50 basically. And unfortunately, Diana, um, her VA was my daughter, Melanie, and we've had to move Melanie on to other things because um, she is my right hand and all that I do. So Diana was switched to a different VA, and I'm glad to see so many of your sales, Diana, are going along well, um, that your VA is doing a great job for you. So... Again, if you have things that need to be listed, check out the link below for my VA, which is Virtual Assistant Service, where we can help you get your items listed. Okay, we've got Kim here, paid a dollar at a thrift store, took a couple of months to sell, but I priced it high. I got many people messaging me low offers. I did not have best offer on it. Sold for full price of fifty-four forty-nine. So a dollar turned it into basically $55. Another Creative Memories item, Disney Mouse, sorry, Disney Mickey Mouse Scrapbook Album Red, 2006. So here we are 13 years after this was made and it's still worth something. And like I said, these Creative Memories things will be showing up in thrift stores for who knows how long because people that were involved in this business, even if they weren't a sales rep, maybe they bought a bunch of this stuff and then just never did anything with it. Now they're all cleaning out, they're downsizing, they're retiring, they're getting ready to downsize and move to a smaller house or the beach or a foreign country or whatever they're doing. Um, and this stuff is coming out into thrift stores. I actually had a friend contact me um, a few weeks ago, somebody that I knew through my animal volunteering stuff over the years uh, with the Humane Society that is moving to they're retiring and they're moving overseas and they've got to get all of their stuff into one of those shipping containers they've lived in this house for 30 years and he was like I need somebody to sell my stuff on eBay and I told him to contact an estate sale company because um, that was just like way too much <laughs> for anybody to do on consignment but this is happening. People are selling everything they've got or as much as possible and packing up these shipping containers and moving overseas because it's cheaper to retire. Uh, they have cheaper medical care. It's cheaper to live. And that is a very common thing now. So just all these reasons that our thrift stores are so full of merchandise. This is not going to stop. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. 
Okay, here's Diana again. This was a cool item. Paid $3.25 on half day at an estate sale. Took best offer of $57 plus shipping after six days. And this is a vintage 80s or 90s phone. And it looks like it's like a clear plastic phone that you can see the inner guts of it and they light up and it does all this funky stuff. So $3.25 and she sold it for $57 and it's called Usonic, Unisonic Phone Works. So I would have picked that up. That's just weird enough to somebody would want it. Okay, Lily, found at an estate sale. The lot I purchased was $35, making this about $2. I took a best offer of $46 plus buyer pay shipping. Took three months to sell. And this is a vintage JCPenney Big Mac embroidered chambray shirt. Western Cowboy Hippie Size Small. Great keywords. So I wanted to show you this one because it's vintage clothing. And she spent enough money to buy enough items to make it worth uh, the profit on each individual item. And her keywords are great. So this is what you want to do. Fill up that title with as many relevant keywords as possible because you want to match up with what the buyers are putting in their search. So that was a great sale, Lily. Okay, Kim. Toothpaste for $36.99. I remember this stuff. Mentadent. It came in this cool container and it was, uh, gosh, it must have come out in the late 80s. But uh, it was one of the first baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste products that I remember. She bought this at a flea market for $3.00. Made full disclosure and pictures of the beat up box and someone still bought it in about two weeks. So $3, she sold it for $37. It's vintage toothpaste. Um, I don't know if they still make this or not. But she noted that the box was beat up and it, and it still sold for that much. So really, toothpaste, anything sells and people will just pay crazy prices for this stuff. Okay, this is a vintage solid brass uh, pedestal stand. And Marie, I'm going to take a stab at your name because this is probably the most interesting name I've ever seen in my entire life. Marie Gendomenico Kirchdorfer. I hope I said that right. Or is it Kirchdorfer? Anyway, what a fun name that is. <laughs> um, Marie sold this. It's a, I thought it was a lamp, but looking closer, it's a pedestal stand. So you'd put little pictures or little things on top of it. But she got it free from a family estate, took best offer of $40, and went to a buyer in Japan. So, so much going on here in this listing, in addition to Marie's very interesting name. Um, this is something that was pretty heavy, and she was brave enough to take a stab at listing it and having to ship it when it sold. It went to Japan even though it was heavy because it's got that marble top on it and um, so that shows do international shipping because you never know what they're gonna buy and it sold within two months. It was a free item so why not list it and take a stab at it. So that was an interesting sale and then Marie has another one here free from a friend who was going to throw out. So she's getting free items and selling them sold for $22 after buyer asked some questions about the content and I made an offer listed about six months with one previous low ball offer very heavy went media mail so kudos to you Marie for being disciplined enough to list these free items and just make money on stuff that was going to be thrown away that's that's what eBay's all about okay Cecilia Vintage three-piece luggage set in that oh-so-desirable avocado green. Sold for $115.98 plus shipping to New York. Paid about $10 or less in a huge pile of stuff at an estate sale run by my favorite company. Took about four months to sell. I always pick up the small to medium sizes of vintage luggage in white or fun colors if the insides are pretty clean and I can get it cheap. So this was like a nesting set. So I imagine when she went to ship it, it's just one suitcase inside of another, inside of another. So not terribly complicated to ship. And luggage, it's meant to be thrown around and 
carried and dropped and um, so you just stick it in a box and ship it. So she turned $10 into $115 plus shipping in about four months and a very cool vintage item. Okay, Amalia bought for $5 at thrift store, sold in three weeks. This was vintage Estee Lauder Super Cologne Spray, $99. And she thought it would take longer because there were others cheaper than hers. Well, you just never know. You never know why a buyer might pick you over somebody else. Some people are not all about price. Maybe your pictures were better. Maybe uh, you lived closer to the buyer and it would get there faster. You just never know what they're looking at there. But bottom line, $5 turned it into 100 bucks basically in three weeks. Okay, Tanya, my interesting shoe find I didn't know anything about. Paid $3 at my Christian thrift store Honey Hole. Took about four months to sell on best offer. These are vintage Gaelic Scotland Gilly Brogues black leather Scottish Piper shoes. So basically some men's black shoes. They look like wingtips. But um, these were $3. She sold for $25. And that's a look at her keywords. She's got it all covered in there. <laughs> so um, her buyer could find them easily. Okay, Amy paid $1.50, took best offer of $60. This is the Magnolia Journal Spring Magazine issue with Joanna Gaines. Now, there's some conversation on this listing. Faith says, what? I almost used the premier issue, the one that came in the mail, as packing paper. I just checked and it sold for $30. Never would have known if you hadn't posted this. Amy says, I've posted a few times. Every time I find them, I buy them up and they sell within days. And Amy also says, the earlier issues sell best, like issues one through four or five. Issue two, for some reason, seems to be popular. So this is... A magazine, um, home decorating, home trends, home decor type stuff. And yeah, so $1.50, she turned it into $60. Just a reminder that magazines cannot be sent media mail because they have advertising. So that's the rule on media mail, cannot have advertising. Okay, Martha, I've got to give you a shout out here because you are being very disciplined. Martha says, I made a deal with myself that I would not buy anything for resale until I cleared my house of everything we no longer needed. I sold my daughter's outgrown athletic shoes for $14.50 plus shipping within a week. I'm happy with that price because I usually sell her outgrown shoes at a consignment shop for about $6.00. Okay, so these were some girls Nike running shoes. She just found them and sold them for $14.50. Then she went on to list this huge 37-piece lot of her daughter's clothing. Sold this lot of outgrown clothing from my daughter's closet. Took a best offer of $100 plus shipping within a couple of weeks of listing. So all you moms out there that have these kids that are growing out of their clothes or you know they're not going to fit them the next season, go ahead and get them up for sale. If you don't have time to do each one individually, put them in a lot like this. It's better to just get that stuff moved out and get the money for it and move on because here's the proof that these things will sell. This was a 37 piece lot. Girls clothing, spring and summer, size 10 to 12 with uh, Justice Brands and GB Girls. I'm not sure what the GB is. Somebody can, somebody with young girls can fill me in on that. Okay, we've got Kim here with some great shoe sales. She had so many, I had trouble picking which ones to put in the video. Paid $10 at Goodwill, sold in about one month for $35. Tom's Shoes Classic Men's 9 Green Plaid Wool Slip-On Flats. Tartan Tassel, I think that's supposed to be festival, but there's some typos, um, which doesn't matter because they sold for $35. Anyway, now a lot of 
things going on in this listing. I did not know that Tom's made this kind of shoe. Doesn't look like your normal Tom's shoe. And her keywords are great. She's got her title filled up with all relevant great keywords describing the fabric, what they look like, the style details, all that stuff. Okay, and here's Kim again, and I love the way she displays her shoes on the, this plastic riser. Paid $10.81 at Goodwill in February, sold for $79.92. This is a great brand to look for, Hoka 1-1. They have sort of a rocker bottom, almost, very cushioned running shoe. So $10, sold for $80 and I guess it took her about two months, six weeks to two months to sell those. So Kim is paying a little bit more for shoes than a lot of you would. $10, $11 for a pair of shoes, but she's flipping them for enough money to justify that price. So it takes a while to get that kind of confidence and be comfortable spending more on inventory when you're not used to it. And until you start seeing some sales with those higher prices, it's gonna you're gonna feel like out of your comfort zone like this is too risky but just you can always fall back on I can always sell it for what I bought it for and with the Hoka 1-1 shoe yes you absolutely can uh, sell those for more than eleven dollars so if you don't know about that brand make note of that okay we've got Jenny here who paid two dollars for this needlepoint kit at a rummage sale there weren't any specific comps, but I knew that the theme would be popular. Yes, you are correct. It has always had lots of views, watchers, and offers, but I was trying to hold out for at least $60. Had a slow week due to a dislocated shoulder. Ouch. So I let it go for best offer of $55. Listed for about five months. So $2 turned it into $55. Again, a needlepoint item with an equestrian theme. And so sorry to hear about your shoulder, Jenny. I hope that that is um, getting better. Oh, Jenny says, I dislocated my shoulder while trying to yank some tangled ski suits and winter coats out of the washing machine. Oh, so this is a occupational hazard kind of injury. Too bad we don't have workman's comp for eBay injuries because you would have been covered on that. <laughs> so I hope it's getting better. Okay, we've got Julie here with this vintage Mr. Bim Zippy Chimp plush. She paid a dollar for this at an estate sale and it sold in one day. So, I remember that guy. Mr. Bim Zippy Chimp. A dollar sold for 45 in one day. And then we've got my friend Suzanne Keen paid a dollar 99 listed for $29.99 or best offer, sold in two months for $25 plus shipping. Eyeglasses are one of my favorite smalls to sell. These are Wittenauer Swanky RX, which means prescription eyeglasses, frames, and you've got like a style number on there. And Suzanne says, both vintage and contemporary frames sell. I look up the brand names to ensure they will sell for a good price. I've been wearing glasses since kindergarten and they are expensive when new. Well, I'm in that same boat with you, Suzanne, because I've been wearing glasses since first grade. And yes, they are expensive. I've had to have them all my life. Um, switched to contacts when I was a teenager. But anyway, um, so look, she's using that knowledge of having to wear glasses her whole life, bringing that into her eBay business to help her make money. Okay, we've got Vanessa here. Paid $13.49 at Salvation Army, sold in less than a month for $300. This is a twin extra lard chili pad. It's a mattress topper that keeps you cool, basically. So it looks like it's new in the box. $13 and sold for $300. Yeah, it's worth paying a little bit extra for some of these things that are high dollars. Okay, and now we're going to get into some sales by our um, the men in the group because they all seem to post at the same time. <laughs> 
So we've got Christopher here. Anastasia Broadway Music Box with Original Box picked it up for $5.39 and sold it for full price of $54.99 in two hours. So here is a brave soul. He is buying girly music boxes to flip on eBay. Um, he doesn't care what anybody thinks about him. He's going to buy this and he's going to flip it and he's going to make money and good for him. I have had so many male clients tell me, you know, I'm not comfortable selling that. I don't want to sell that. Um, I feel weird, you know, selling that kind of item. Just, you know, talking about like women's shoes or something that looks f female, delicate, feminine-ish, um, nothing weird. But um, yeah, so you just have to get out of your comfort zone and the money's there. And then we've got Ken, who paid $36 at a local Goodwill behind the counter. They knew they had something, they just didn't realize how good of a something they had. Sold in three weeks for $350 plus shipping. These are Men's Liberty Limited Edition Black Skull Cowboy Boots, size 9. And Ken says that he looked up the brand first, which was Liberty Boots, then specifically the styling of these particular boots with the skulls and by the way skulls is a great theme to sell yes so again we've got pay a little bit more for stuff behind the counter and he basically sold this item for 10 times what he paid for it $36 turned it into 350 so you got to be aggressive if you get want to get that sale you got to buy the stuff that's a little bit more expensive and here we have our regular Brian Rappaport paid ten dollars at a garage sale in early March and sold for $19.99 I'm sorry $119.99 in just a few weeks this is a vintage Sansui stereo headphones with original storage case so you just never know what you're gonna see at those garage sales but Brian has a great eye and he's a great picker and uh, you can learn a lot by watching his posts on these Money Making Mondays. Then we've got another item Brian found. A dollar at a garage sale in November and sold for $99.99. So it took about four months. And this is a vintage Chevrolet license plate. Yes, license plates are highly collectible. That's another class I need to do about which ones and why and what are people looking for and all of that collecting is a very specific art people have their very specific reasons for what they want and easy to ship okay then we've got Mark who is selling um, clothes for Ken <laughs> so here's another brave guy selling stuff like doll clothes um, paid a dollar at an estate sale sold for twenty dollars plus $24 shipping to Finland. Okay, this is a vintage sealed uh, Mattel Ken Fashion Avenue outfit. So a lot going on here. Um, we've got somebody who doesn't care what he's selling, doesn't matter if it's girly or for dolls or whatever, who cares. He's shipping international, so it doesn't matter where the person is in the world. Mark's going to ship it to him. And he paid a dollar for this and sold it for $20. And how easy and fast was that? It's still in the box. Take a few pictures and ship it. I mean, how easy was that? So Mark's another great one to follow. Okay, we've got Max who sold this Lily Pulitzer Alligator Plush. Bought on a thrift website with another Alligator Plush. Sold oh, $3 for both. So $1.50 for this one after three weeks sold for $59.48. So basically $1.50 sold it for $60. And um, so he bought it online, he said. So that's another avenue for people who don't have great thrift stores or can't get to the thrift store if you are disabled or busy or a caregiver or don't have transportation or whatever your reason is. There's all kind of ways to buy things online to flip, and this is proof of that. Um, I have a class in my premium library called Virtual Picking that explains exactly how to do this. So another reason to go over there and check that out. Um, 
but this is like a girly looking item. <laughs> I don't know, um, you know, many men that would buy this at a thrift store, you know, they may, might have issues with being embarrassed of buying this girly looking item because I just, I keep hearing that, but you just have to throw caution to the wind and like, if I can make money on it, I'm going to buy it to resell. No big deal. Okay, now we've got another one from Allie. Um, I'm going to wrap up this edition with some weird items. <laughs> She says, happy to get rid of these guys. Paid $37.49 from Salvation Army back in May. They were heavy, and I didn't realize each of the lights they were holding were broken at the bottom. Finally sold for $90 with free shipping, which cost me $19. Okay, so what's going on here? We've got a funky-looking weird item. These are vintage chalkware pirate monkey lamps. I mean, how often do you see a monkey lamp? That's just not something you see every day. So, of course, it's weird enough that people will want it. Um, she paid $37.49. So, she about, she more than doubled her money on this because they sold for $90. And they were broken. The lights they were holding were broken at the bottom. So, you can kind of see in the picture, like, this guy's holding one and it has a pointed handle on it and then these two over here don't have that so it doesn't matter that it was broken she still sold them for 90 bucks so can't be a perfectionist if you want to make a bunch of money on eBay and then we have a very weird funky pair of shoes um, Viri Diana bought these at Goodwill paid $20 sold for full asking price of $59.99 plus shipping took two months to sell and they are Baki or Basie, not sure how to say that, Daisy women's brown brocade high fashion ankle booties with faux fur. Look how funky those look. They look sort of Victorian. They look steampunk. They're just, um, they're just weird. And it's not, some, not something you see every day. <laughs> Shoes with fur on them like that. And that type of heel. And it's a booty. And the flowers. And it's just like that's perfect for someone who wants to express their individuality. Um, so she tripled her money. She paid 20 She sold them for 60 And sold them in pretty good amount of time. Two months. Okay. And we're going to end this edition with the weirdest thing I saw. <laughs> On this thread was this rare baby born surprise happy hot dog baby doll <laughs> I don't know why I think this is so funny um, Sue Ann bought this retail for $9.99 at Marshall sold in seven days at auction for over $50 so <laughs> it's a little baby that you put in this hot dog costume <laughs> I mean how often do you see that that's just I don't know. I don't know why I think it's so funny. It's just hilarious. Um, what a combination, a hot dog and a baby. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this has been educational for you guys. Love to hear your comments on these items. Come to my Facebook group where you can spend lots of time studying what other people sell. And also, if you have not tried my premium library, come try for at least a month. There is so much information in there. Um, it's over 150 videos now so there's plenty to learn and you know you don't know what you don't know and the more you know the more money you'll make so thanks for watching and have a profitable and productive day on ebay bye